Welcome back, guys. This is going to be um, general reads for Capricorn for the month of October. All right, so I haven't uh, checked in with you guys in a while. I definitely do apologize, but I'm going to do better on my channel. I promise you guys I'm going to be back on here more often, okay? So I just want to go ahead and put that message out. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. There's so much more to come. And if this message resonate with you guys, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in that comment section below, all right? And let's get down to it. And this is going to be for the month of October. October. All right, fall is finally here, guys. Fall is here. All right, it's my favorite season. All right, let's hop into it. These are love messages, okay? So um, these messages will pertain to love. All right, so let's see what messages do we have for Capricorn in love, okay? What messages are there for Capricorn? This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, Capricorns, what messages are there for the month of October? Okay, Capricorns, <sighs> Capricorns. Hmm. All right. Let's see. We have worth waiting for at the bottom of the deck. We have worth waiting for. All right. So maybe you are waiting for someone. Okay. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So whatever you're waiting on. Is supposed to be everything is happening the way it's supposed to be happening. Okay, don't try to force anything. Um, divine timing is definitely at work. Okay, you may have someone that you're trying to make a decision on on whether or not this could be actually be the one. Um, and maybe you just been waiting, like you're waiting this out. Like you possibly have a lot of options. Or you have an option between two different people and you're trying to make a decision on whether or not which one would be the better choice for you. Maybe you've been waiting for a while because I do know that Capricorns do take their time to get um, to make a decision, you know, to come to a conclusion on towards something. So I see something here about reconciliation. So maybe this is <clears throat> someone coming back from the past. OK, so someone from your past is returning to your love life okay and we also have give your relationship a chance okay work on your partnership and then we have separation all right so what's going on cappies what's going on here we got somebody from the past coming back and you trying to figure out if you're going to give them a chance if you're going to work on this but then I see a separation period here. Let's see. Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorns for the month of October? Please give me clarifiers for Capricorn for the month of October. Please give me clarifiers. I just feel like I need to calm down. For some reason, I'm feeling really anxious for you guys. I just need to take a breather for a second. <laughs> Capricorns. What is going on with Capricorns? Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles, which is your energy. All right, so maybe you're thinking about whether or not if you're wanting to reconcile with somebody from your past, okay? Um, you're feeling kind of worried here, okay? We have the death card here, 
you're not wanting to worry, but you're just not sure. Maybe you haven't talked about whether or not if you want to reconcile, if this person wants to reconcile. But I do see that there's a healing period here. But I'm getting a sense of maybe you are trying to block friends or so people that you hang around with out of this situation. I feel like you're trying to heal, but you're not talking about it. And maybe you don't have anyone to talk about it with or to. Um, and I do sense like you're kind of worried. Give your relationship a chance. Ooh, what's going on? Give your relationship a chance. For Capricorns. This is someone from the past, okay? We got the Six of Cups. You're thinking about someone from your past. You're thinking about returning to someone from your past, okay? Maybe you guys have been separated for a while because we have separation here. And we got Queen of Pentacles. So we got the King of Pentacles on one end. And we got the Queen of Pentacles on the other end. I really don't talk about Twin Flames often, um, but this could be that type of connection, okay? Yeah, we got the Nine of Cups. Someone from your past wants to reconcile with you or you want to reconcile with somebody from your past. Yep, Knight of Pentacles, your energy, okay? This is someone from your past that wants to come back around or you want to come back around to them and you're thinking about giving this another chance. This is someone that you could have been married to we got the Four of Wands. Queen, to, Queen of Pentacles is definitely wife energy, okay? You guys have been separated for a while. Maybe you guys were living together. You have a family together. You built a family together or you were living together or you guys were married, okay? And you're separated. I feel like now you guys are thinking about whether or not you want to give this another shot. Yep, Ten of Pentacles, all right? You want to build something with this person. You want a family. I'm getting family with this person. Ten of Wands, okay? So this, this situation could have possibly been a burden or you felt burdened by this situation. The Ten of Wands is saying that someone gave up, okay? Or someone threw the towel in or saying that this something was too much, too much responsibility, too much. It's just something was a burden, okay? Yeah, look, we got the lovers. You love this person. This is a decision that you, maybe during this separation, you've realized that you really do love this person, okay? I feel like you do, you walked away. You walked away from this person with this Eight of Cups. And this was somebody, someone that you built something with or something that was supposed to be long-term or you thought would be long-term. I feel like you walked away from it. There was a lot of immature behavior here. A lot of he say, she say, or gossip, or just spying. Um, but I'm picking up on immature energy. Someone made it hard. Somebody is making it hard. I feel like you're making this harder than what it is. If you want to give this another chance... Um, you, I feel like you've been waiting because we have worth the wait, worth waiting for at the bottom of the deck, okay? You're still trying to decide if this is it, okay? Is this person really the one? And you're feeling like you need to make a decision. Well, I do feel like you invested a lot into this, okay? You put a lot of work in, you invested a lot, um, and you really do care about this person, like I said, this person could be like a wife or you feel like this person could be like a wife or a husband type energy. Um, you want to live together with this person. You want a family with this person. I'm definitely picking up on someone from your past. You're thinking about someone from your past on whether or not you want to get back together. Okay, Cappies. Let's see what's what. Let's see what's what. 
Let's see what additional messages that we have for my Capricorns. My Capricorns are thinking about their exes and past and going down memory lane. All right, let's see. Capricorns. Capricorns. I feel like I'm picking up too that this is something that you're trying to hide. I think I feel that way because you guys didn't have any jumpers. Like, no cards jumped. It's like you didn't really want this to be known. <laughs> like, you're hiding it. Um, this is something that I'm picking up on as well. All right, see, none of your cards are jumping. It's kind of like really tight. Like, let's keep this in. Keep everything in nice and neatly. <laughs> All right, we're going to shuffle a few more times. I feel spirit is telling me to shuffle three more times. So that's one, two, and this is the last shuffle. And we're going to see what's going on. Capricorns for the month of October. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Please give me um, additional information for Capricorns. All right, let's get to it. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So someone rushing in, okay? Maybe you want to rush in, okay? We got the Justice card. <laughs> the Five of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Woo, Four of Cups. The Hierophant. And the Eight of Wands. Wow. I feel like you guys are wanting to. There's some conflict going on between you and another individual. There's like a battle here. I feel like you are wanting to, to balance this situation out. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, a Libra or a Taurus could be involved. But I feel like you guys are... Wanting justice. And I feel like there's also a, a, a new beginning that you want as well. It's like a start over. Start fresh. Yep. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely a new beginning. A new fresh start. But after this is balanced out. Okay. Oh, some truth is getting ready to be revealed. Someone is getting ready to speak <laughs> their mind and how they feel, their true thoughts. We got the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're holding something back from someone. You're holding the truth back from someone. And I'm picking up on Libra. I'm picking up on Libra. Okay. Um, they're wanting to hear from you, Capricorn. They're wanting to hear what you have to say, most definitely. Okay, you are ready for happiness. You're ready for that Ten of Cups energy, all right? And there might be like some surprise text message or some, some out of the blue uh, message from someone here, okay? I'm getting sexual energy as well, too. Wow. I'm kidding that like, you don't want everybody in your business either. I'm getting like trying to keep people out of your business. I feel like you want to give someone a commitment or you feel like it's going to be in your best interest if you step up to the plate and do things the right way, okay? And we have, look, the lovers. We got the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the lovers. Okay, so there is some truth being revealed about how you feel in regards to this person. Okay, Sun card. You're keeping something, you're holding back something from someone. Maybe you're afraid of how they're going to respond. But they're definitely, this, this person is waiting to hear from you, most definitely. Oh, Queen of Cups. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy, Lover's card, Gemini energy, Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, Scorpio with this Tower card. But I feel like you are ready. You're planning. You're planning to be together. This is in your hopes and fears. I feel like you're planning on being with this person in the future. Um, and we got this Five of Swords, like out of the blue. Out just out of the blue, like there's this this um, this person reaches out or you reach out to them. Okay, why is the Five of Swords here? Three of Wands. You're waiting. Waiting for this person to reach out to you. Or you're waiting to reach out to them. You're ready to put this situation to rest. You're ready. It's been ongoing for a while. Why is the lover's card here? You're ready to tell how you feel. Okay? Maybe some changes. Your intuition is telling you that things will go in your favor. Okay? Somebody put up a big fight. Now you're, the challenge is if it's worth to continue to battle, to continue to keep this drama going. I feel like you are getting tired. You're getting tired of the battle. You're getting tired of the back and forth. You're, getting, you're tired of it. You're wanting it, you're wanting it to put, put it to rest and start fresh. You're wanting to start fresh. Oh, we got some jumpers that want to be jumped out. Oh, there's too many of them, so I'm going to put them back. But you're keeping something. You're holding back something. I feel like you're holding back because you don't know how this person is going to respond. This person could be coming off like as really, really cold or distant. So you don't really know what to say. Or how to to how to approach the situation. But I do feel like you guys are tired of uh, this battle. You've been on and off again, possibly with the water sign. Um I'm getting Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, most definitely. This has been an on, on again, off again thing. Maybe communicating with this person, like you communicate with them on and off. I feel like it's because you have other options in front of you. So you're not fully focused on one person. You have options in front of you here with this Seven of Cups, okay? So you've been kind of like doing your thing. Um, but I'm definitely picking up on... This has been an on again, off again thing. Okay. But I do feel like there's going to be some communication coming in. Somebody is going to be expressing how they truly feel. Okay. But I feel like at the moment you're like, man, I don't, I don't need, I don't want to express it. I don't want to say it. I don't know how this person is going to respond. They're coming off as distant or cold. I don't really know how I'm going to, but I feel like you should give it a shot. I feel like you should give it a shot. How do they feel about Capricorn? Let's see. Let's do a quick read and let's see how do they feel about Capricorn. They're waiting to hear from you. Like I said, King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Like, they're waiting to hear from you, okay? Um, they're waiting. They're, they're waiting to hear from you. But they're disappointed. We got the Four of Cups. 
they may feel like you aren't interested or you aren't showing any interest or this could be vice versa. But I feel like they're disappointed right now. <laughs> they're disappointed. We got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy, okay? They feel like they invested into this and they didn't get what they wanted out of it, okay? For some of you guys, I'm telling you, some of you guys were living with this person or you're married. Yeah, they're feeling like they didn't get, they're disappointed because they invested. But we got the five of pentacles. Like it didn't get much out of it. Got thrown away, left out in the cold, um, and or ended up with nothing. In the past, you guys were four of wands energy. Okay, for some of you guys, this is a marriage. For some of you guys, this is stability. So it was like stable in the past, and then now it's like a lack, a lack of. Okay, and moving forward, they want a commitment from you. We got the Hierophant. They want a commitment. Okay, yep, Nine of Cups. They want a commitment with you. Okay, they want something serious and want something long term. I feel like you're stuck. You're feeling stuck in a situation, but we have the King of Cups as the outcome. They want you to open up um, more to them emotionally. Okay, they put in a lot. They feel like they put in a lot and something ended. The stability ended, something that provided them stability or there was a divorce, a separation or something in the nature, something that was stable to them or was providing them with stability or happiness or fulfillment or family, something ended, okay? They don't show, they feel like you're not showing them emotions. You're not giving them the emotion. It's like you're emotionally depriving them. Yep, and they want a commitment with you. They want something serious with you. They want something positive from you. Yes, look at the outcome. They absolutely love you. We have the King of Cups and the Lovers. They absolutely love you. No doubt about it. They love you. Yes, yes. I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like you guys are stuck in a situation. There could be a third party involved or there's a mother involved because we have the eight of swords. And this is you guys feeling stuck, okay? Feeling like obligated or stuck in a situation or trapped. And then we have the empress, okay? So this could be a mother or there's a third party involved or just something that you feel obligated to. And then we have the three of swords. So it's making me feel like there's third party energy. So maybe you're stuck because there's someone else involved in between this, okay? So it's hard for you to make up your mind because there's other people involved. Let's see why the three of swords is here. Yeah, the Page of Swords. All right, there could be some immature behavior, but this is also someone spying. So I feel like there's outside people that are spying on 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 this thing here, on this thing you guys have going on. There's other people's influence here. There's gossiping, there's he say, she say. There's someone spying to see who's messing with who. Um, but the conversation always leads back to you because we have the page of pentacles and the devil card. So it's like a conversation about you. Okay. And there's lots of worry and drama here. So someone's worried about some, he say, she say, okay. Someone is going to regret that they snuck off or was being sneaky or was cheating. Somebody here is, um, going to end up regretting it. All right, so Cappies, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. This was a very juicy read. Y'all let me know what's going on. I need to know what's going on. This was very, very, very juicy, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Um, 
If you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is in the drop box below. I am currently running new client specials. So if you are a new client, you get a special introductory rate. Um, and thank you guys so much for tuning in, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share with your family and friends, and subscribe if you're new. All right? Ciao for now.